short topic is on the tenant's responsibilities regarding the entry condition report at the start of the tenancy. The Queensland Tenancy Laws outlines rights and responsibilities for property owners and managers and tenants involved in a tenancy. Besides the general tenancy agreement, one of the most important documents at the start of a tenancy is the entry condition report. The property manager owner must ensure the property is clean and fit for you to live in and not in breach of any health or safety issues. As a tenant, one of your responsibilities is to return the property in the same condition it was at the start of the tenancy, less fair wear and tear. This report shows the condition and is compared to the exit condition report at the end of the tenancy when you vacate. The report will show whether the property, rooms or items are clean, working and undamaged. Remember, clean does not always mean brand new. An older property showing signs of age can still be in a clean condition. Usually both sides will complete the report separately. In some cases, however, some property managers or owners may complete the report together with you as a tenant. At the start of the tenancy, the property owner or manager completes and signs the report and gives you a copy. As a tenant, you will have three days to complete your side, sign it and return a copy to the property manager or the owner. They will then send you a final copy. There are instructions on the front page of the report as to what each person's responsibilities are. Moving house is an exciting but a stressful time. However, once you have the report, before you move your own possessions in, take the time to go through the property and check the condition against the report. You go room by room and don't forget to check the outside as well as the inside. It's a great opportunity to also check that all the keys and the remotes that you've been supplied with, that they do work. Check if items are clean, working and undamaged. If you disagree with any notes that the property owner or manager has written, now is your opportunity to write any differences in the comments section of the report. So to give you an example, if the report states no carpet damage, but there is a small carpet stain, then note the size, colour, location of the stain. Sometimes it takes a little bit more time to check the little things. Things like the oven, is it clean? Checking windows and blinds, are they damaged, do they work and are they clean? And check the kitchen cupboards and drawers. If the property is furnished, check the inventory items to make sure it reflects what's included. If you run out of space for your comments, you can always attach a separate page if need be. It is also recommended to take photos or video at the start as further evidence of the property. If there are significant differences in the condition and you disagree with the property owner or manager's comments, the RTA encourages you to discuss the differences with them now. Do not leave this till the end of your tenancy. Once you have finished checking the report, initial each page, sign it and return a copy to the property owner or manager. It is best to keep a copy of what you have returned along with all your other important tenancy paperwork. A thorough detailed report and photos can avoid disputes at the end of the tenancy. Take the extra time to get this right to avoid a potential problem at the end where time and memory may not align with what you and the other person remembers at the start. You can find a lot of tenancy information on the RTA's website. Go to rta.qld.gov.au or contact us on 1300 366 311. Thank you.